odors, fragrances, stench, are all around us and part of our daily lives. But can we use these to become better and healthier human beings? Welcome to the Smell Lab. According to researcher Jonas Olofsson, we could benefit a great deal by training our sense of smell and even develop unexpected powers. We have a whole lot of pens that have different smells. We use them to assess smell functions. Here is a room just for odors, like leather, coffee, and lemon. This is where we keep the really bad ones. This is a sweat odor that we use to trigger feelings of disgust. It is these smells that he is using in the fight against, among other things, Alzheimer's. Prior research on how the brain works has focused on how we respond to visual impressions, but odor memory has been neglected. So I want to focus on odor memory and how it is affected by aging, because I think that if we understand that, we will get better at detecting early signs of dementia. That's all. Good, it's time. It's not only at his job that Jonas has interests in smells. During his free time, he loves being out with Nelson the dog, smell training. That's all. Start now. Good boy. But it's not so simple, this thing called scent. It's not just one molecule that is responsible for the scent of an orange. There are actually 95 different ones. It's the combination of them that our brain interprets as orange fragrance. One could say that it's like an enormous puzzle that the brain has to solve every time it comes across a smell, every day. Welcome to the experiment. Det här är liksom den första versionen och den visar ju på ett väldigt enkelt koncept. Mm. Att man ska kunna känna skillnad på olika doftkvaliteter. Så det är lite som en kaffeautomat som du sträcker dig fram och plockar upp ja, den här glasflaskan. Gud vad coolt. Mm. Ska vi prova? Ja. Mm. Oj vad häftigt. <laughs> In the virtual reality laboratory... Jonas, along with his colleagues, is testing if people can improve their odor memory, that is to say, improving their ability to recognize fragrances, with the help of a game. Smell training is very demanding, so our secret is to develop smell games. That makes it more fun to train. What do you think that's for? I think that's uh, uh, Syrian. And because you get points when you get it right you can actually tell that you're getting better. Ja. Mm. <laughs> the object of the game is to correctly sort jars with odors. Mm. Det här är definitivt citron. Ja, bra. Det var rätt. Är det det? Det här är jätteroligt. But what can we gain by training our odor memory? Smell training is important because without a sense of smell, food loses its flavor. But we also think that smell training will help us to train our brains in a more general way. Working at recognizing smells can have unexpected advantages. When Jonas and his team let people play smell memory, they discovered that these people also got better at playing the standard memory game as well. But what was really interesting was these regions in the front of the brain that people have not really associated with olfactory functions before. When someone trains ordinary visual memory, their brain is also put to work. But when working specifically with smell, unique changes occur in the brain. It seems that smell memory gives the brain a more diverse workout. So how can knowledge about odor memory 
be used in the fight against Alzheimer's and other dementia illnesses. Among other symptoms, a declining recognition of fragrances can be one sign that a person is affected. We are developing olfactory assessments to detect dementia in early stages of the disease. And we're hoping that in the future, we might be able to use olfactory training to prolong the onset of the disease. Jag är så ivrig att få fortsätta. Ja, det är så roligt. But keeping illnesses in check isn't the only thing that Jonas dreams about. He believes that the fragrance game they're developing now can benefit many more in the future. Scent training could lead to picky kids wanting to try new foods. A more alert brain before taking a test. Or seniors regaining the ability to recognize fragrances. <laughs> I believe that in every stage of life, your life can get richer if you explore and develop and cultivate your sense of smell. That's all. Duke Dillon.